On the final lap, Harris and Fisher were locked in a dogged fight for the lead, with neither willing to give an inch. Yeah, you know, the idea of putting Jesus on the race car was actually really about challenging people's paradigms in terms of what a Christian's like. You know, and it's it's very similar to what today's about. It's not a, it's not a you know a high pressure situation of trying to you know bash people over the head in terms of being Christians or whatever the case is, but it's actually about operating within the community. What does it mean when you've got everything you can ever wish for and you're still not happy? You've got everything you can ever wish for and there's still a void in you, something missing. Well, today's a day not only to have a great day in this beautiful weather and these conditions and all the rides, but today you can hear a message that's wise, that's a message of salvation. God is real. There's nothing cooler for me than to be able to share a message, encourage someone and plant the seed in you to have a relationship with God. You know, the thing about the Jesus Racing team, what we've what we've been able to do is we've been able to really you know, engage uh, with the community, the racing community. So um, yeah, you know, we're a very well known race team. You got no idea, he goes. Every time I go home from the race meet, if you're beating me, he goes, he goes, I get smashed by my mates. They go, they say to me, man, what are you doing, Jack? Yeah, you know, like, you know, can you not? I mean, you're so bad, you can't even beat that Christian guy. <laughs>